Sky and welcome to the series How I Did It. Today, my guest, Dr. Dimitar Kosturkov from Bulgaria, will show his amazing case that he shared recently in his social media. Hi, Dimitar. How are you? Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm doing well. How are you doing? Well, I'm fine. Please share with us what you did and uh, tell us something more. Tell us about the protocols and uh, how you obtained the patency and how you succeeded in this uh, very nice case. Thank you very much. Well, here you see in the first image uh, the preoperative X-ray uh, with the final result as well. In the preoperative X-ray, this is the X-ray that uh, one colleague sent the patient to me uh, with this X-ray. Uh, he was having difficulties negotiating the canals and uh, he needed my help. So what you can see from this uh, preoperative image is that uh, he reached until the apical third of the canals, but obviously he was struggling to go deeper. And in the mesial canals, there were uh, unfortunately two ledges. And uh, in the distal canal, actually, first of all, he told that there were two canals and it was like uh, one bit larger uh, split like canal. So he took the wrong path and he could not uh, manage to negotiate it. And uh, <clears throat> in the other two x-rays is the final result, which I obtained after my protocol of uh, preparation and obturation of the root canals. I was very surprised by this nice anatomy, especially uh, the mesial root. You can see an almost 90 degrees curvature. I was able to to see that during the treatment, but I didn't know what's going to happen in the distal canal. And you can also see some nice lateral canals that were uh, opened and, and clean and obturated. And uh, how we did this, how I did this in the next image, the second image, you can see how I did uh, the negotiation of the mesobuccal canal. In this case, I usually think that the mesobuccal canals are uh, harder to be treated. And uh, it turned out that this was the easier canal in that case. So what I did after the irrigation and uh, after I filled the pulp chamber with uh, EDTA solution, I was able to pass the ledge with the uh, C file, the gray C file. <clears throat> so once I have passed by the ledge and I was able to reach the working length, I tried to eliminate this ledge with a very small uh, amplitudes, one millimeter up, one millimeter down until I lost the file. After this, I irrigated well I did the recapitulation and uh, I went up for the purple C file. In such cases, <clears throat> when I negotiate ledges, I really like to use the C files because uh, they, they do a very good job. And uh, with the purple file, again, very careful movements. Uh, I was able to uh, bypass the ledge eliminate it. And usually in these cases, when uh, we have ledges, I have one rule. I say, I say to myself always is the rule of 100 because usually I have to make 100 movements up and down with amplitude one millimeter until I uh, feel that the file is uh, losing the canal so I can go up to the next file. So once I went with the gray and the purple C files until the full working length. I was able to introduce uh, a rotary file for glide path, for mechanical glide path. 
And uh, this was, uh, in that case, I worked with the, the system of uh, VDW, ro Rotate. So I used the 1504 file. Uh, with this file, I was able to read the working length. Then uh, again, it's standard protocol of work. Recapitulation with uh, the purple C file, irrigation, and the next file, 2005. Again, to the full working length, irrigation, recapitulation, and uh, 2506. Irrigation, recapitulation. This is how I did the, the shaping of the mesobacal canal. After that, for the mesolingual canal, it turned out, you can see it in the next image, it turned out that uh, this canal was a bit tricky because I was able to bypass the ledge, but not able to go much deeper. So <clears throat> I told to myself that probably there is a, a curvature that we don't see very well in the preoperative uh, X-ray. So <clears throat> in this case, I went until bypassing the, uh, the ledge again with the gray with the purple file the same protocol and the white uh, file from the rotate system and then i went back again to a purple k file it's a bit more flexible which is pre-curved and i was able with the pre-curved uh, k file to reach the full working length and when i took out this file uh, i saw the impression of the root canal it really caused me some stress because you know that uh, it's good if you enter in a very curved canal but you never know if the file is going to come out the whole file fortunately <clears throat> i was able to uh, to negotiate that canal and i preferred in this case to uh, to shape the final millimeters of the canal with the hand instruments, which are pre-curved. So I went with uh, the purple, the white, and the yellow K-file pre-curved. I, I was maintaining all the time the epical patience with uh, the pre-curved uh, purple file. And of course, I was using all the time a large amount of uh, irrigants to keep the debris uh, dissolved, to not uh, pack any debris uh, while doing the, the hand instrumentation. Uh, and when uh, I reached the yellow uh, instrument in the apex, I went up again to the rotary files until the level of this curvature, I shaped it with uh, the rotate 2005 and 2506. So generally, Again, uh, the last millimeters of the canals, I shaped it uh, manually and uh, above this point, I was using the rotary instruments. So this is how I did the, this very curved canal. <clears throat> and for the distal canal, the first thing, you can see it in the next image, my protocol. Uh, the first thing was to, to see if there is one or two canals. Uh, it turned out that there was one canal which is split-like. It was having the shape of uh, <clears throat> the number eight, but it was only one canal. It was obvious when I was uh, looking deep in the canal with the microscope. So <clears throat> in this case, I extended a little bit uh, the axis uh, distally in the coronal portion of the canal and uh, I was able to to reach the apex with the C file, the gray C file and uh, I applied my standard protocol which I use for most of the cases so I go gray and uh, purple C file until full working length after that I do the, the mechanical glide path with uh, 1504 from uh, rotate again recapitulation <clears throat> with the purple c file then rotary file 2005 recapitulation with purple file and again 
uh, the last file 2506, it was uh, sufficient for the shaping of these canals. Uh, then this was uh, the end of my shaping. I had to do the disinfection of the canal. And you can see in the next slide, I was using a standard protocol uh, irrigation <clears throat> and passive ultrasonic activation of the solutions. So basically what I did in this case was after I have finished the shaping to, to disinfect the canals, first irrigate with the sodium hypochlorate 5.25% uh, and uh, <clears throat> I activated the solutions uh, 20 seconds for each canal. After this, uh, I used the solution of EDTA. Again, I activated 20 seconds for each canal. They are three canals, so one minute in total. And I have repeated this cy uh, cycle three times. As we like to say, the first time is uh, to remove the smear layer, uh, second time to open the dentin tubules, and the third time uh, to disinfect uh, them well. So this was my protocol. And on the next image, you can see the pulp chamber and the canals after the final disinfection and before the obturation of the canals. The obturation, I did it with uh, worm uh, technique for uh, compaction of gutta percha. So in this case, I used continuous wave of condensation technique. I like it. I feel very secure. Um, I think it's a very predictable technique to be used. So what I did, I used the sealer, which is uh, epoxy based, the edge plus. And uh, I also used, uh, in this case, <clears throat> the ultrasonic tip for activation. I use it to spread the, the sealer around the canal to have a more homogeneous uh, spreading of the sealer. When I, sp when I apply the sealer, I put the gutta percha cone, I cut two thirds until the last three, five millimeters and the rest of the canal, I fill with uh, warm gutta percha and I compact it with the cold spreaders. And this is what I did for <clears throat> all three of the canals. And on the next image, uh, you can see how it looks like. For the distal canal, this is the apical portion of the gutta percha, which was left uh, before injecting the warm gutta percha. Also, for the mesolingual and the mesobuccal canal, uh, they are cut very, very deep in the canal. And on the next image, you can see the final uh, obturation when uh, I injected the warm gutta percha and when I compacted with the cold plugger. And on the right image, you can see the adhesive barrier. This is how we usually seal the, the, the treatment and uh, we send the patient back uh, to their referral dentist. <clears throat> I was very happy to see the final result because uh, you never know until the end what will happen and uh, when i saw the first uh, the first x-ray with the final result i was really happy to see the nice curvature which i knew that exists and it, it's not very easy to obturate but i was also very happy to see these lateral canals in the distal uh, uh, distal canal because when i see it in the x-ray I know that uh, I did the job well. And most of all, I did a very good job with the disinfection because I was able to open and after that to obturate this uh, space and not leave any bacteria. So this is how I did the case. I believe the referral dentist uh, was very happy, but uh, to be honest, I, I was happier than anybody else. 
Dimitar, thank you very much for this nice case. Thank you very much for lots of clinical tips. And uh, we hope to see you soon again with uh, other cases. Thank you. If you invite me, I will participate for sure. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you very much. Thank you too. Dear visitors of our canal, let's be honest. The case is really nice. The curvatures are really extreme, but very well uh, executed plan and uh, very informative uh, slides. So I hope that you really had some benefits from this uh, video and uh, you learned some clinical tips to use in your everyday practice. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification. Then you will be informed about new videos coming out. Thank you and see you next time.